The Autumn of Memory The late afternoon sunlight bathed the grounds of Hogwarts in a soft amber glow, casting long shadows across the landscape. Leaves golden and crimson swirled lazily through the air, carried by the cool autumn breeze. The gentle rustling of trees at the edge of the forbidden forest provided a calming backdrop, only occasionally interrupted by the distant caw of a crow. Draco Malfoy walked slowly, his steps deliberate, as if lost in thought. His platinum blonde hair gleamed in the sunlight, neatly slicked back, though the wind had dishevelled a few loose strands. His sharp, angular features were softened by the contemplative looks in his eyes, and the usual cool expression was replaced by something more thoughtful. His robes, impeccably tailored and elegant, fluttered around him, Dark fabric is stark contrast to the vibrant colors of autumn. Beside him walked Harry Potter, his posture relaxed, his unruly black hair made even wilder by the wind. His green eyes, half hidden behind round glasses, occasionally glanced at Draco as if trying to gog his mood. The famous lightning-shaped scar on his forehead was barely visible beneath his hair, though it pulsed faintly, a constant reminder of the past. Harry's robes were simple, practical, worn from years of use, but they exuded a sense of comfort that matched his natural, modest demeanor. Despite the tension that had once defined their relationship, something unspoken lingered between them, a bond forged through shared experiences, battles, and perhaps even regrets. Strange, isn't it? Harry said after a long silence, his voice quiet but filled with curiosity. Being here again, it feels different. Draco didn't respond immediately, his gaze fixed on the distant castle and its tower glowing the golden light. When he finally spoke, his voice was softer than Harry had expected. It feels calmer. Like the ghosts have finally found peace. Harry nodded and kicked a stray leaf on the path. Yeah. But I think some ghosts never really leave. Draco's eyes drifted to Harry, a faint smile playing on his lips. Still the hero, eh, Potter? Always so sentimental. Harry shrugged, but amusement flickered in his eyes. And you're still pretending you don't care, Malfoy. They exchanged a brief look, and for a moment, the air between them crackled with the remnant of an old rivalry. But just as quickly, it passed. Something's matter to me, Draco finally said, his voice barely above a whisper. Just less than they used to. Harry didn't push for more. He simply walked alongside Draco, their steps in sync as they kicked up fallen leaves. Behind them, the imposing silhouette of Hogwarts rose against the setting sun like a silent guardian watching over them. The wind played with the falling leaves, and for a moment it seemed as though time stood still. The space between them was only an arm's length, but the silence spoke volumes, more than words could ever express. It was a silence filled with the weight of a shared history, but also with an unspoken closeness that was slowly, almost imperceptibly, forming. Harry seemed to want to seize the moment. It's funny. He began, his gaze still fixed on the autumn landscape. I used to be so sure that we'd always be on opposite sides. Draco stopped, his hands tucked into his pockets of his robes as if shielding himself from the cool breeze but his eyes betrayed a vulnerability that Harry had never seen in him before. Maybe we were. But sides change. People change. Harry chuckled softly. And I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Draco only smiled, the faint smile from earlier returning, though this time less distant. There's a lot I never expected from you, Potter, and yet here we are. There was something new in the air. 
attention that had nothing to do with old rivalries, but with a different kind of closeness that was unexpectedly forming between them. Harry felt his heart quicken as he looked at Draco, and he realized that Draco, too, wasn't looking away. There was something in those grey eyes that Harry had never noticed so consciously before. Something vulnerable. Something searching. You're right, Harry said quietly, stepping a little closer. Some things do change. Draco held his gaze, and for the first time in all the years they'd known each other, it wasn't contempt or pride that stood between them. And some things, Draco murmured, leaning slightly forward as well. Just take some time. Their hands brushed lightly, and that small, almost insignificant contact was enough to make the air between them practically crackle. Draco hesitated for a moment, as if wanting to make sure Harry felt the same tension. And in the green eyes of the other, he found his answer. Maybe it's time we stop hiding, Draco said softly. Harry nodded, a gentle smile playing on his lips. Maybe. The moment their fingers intertwined was quiet yet full of meaning small gesture that changed everything. The old wounds, the rivalries, the battles, all of it seemed to fall away as they walked together towards the direction of the setting sun. Step by step, side by side, not as heroes and villains, but as people who had found an unexpected connection with one another. <laughs>